What is up YouTube? <laughs> it's been a while since I posted my last video. What I'm showing you today is a high safety fade. A little bit of work on his facial hair. It's pretty much similar to the haircuts that I'm doing. The only difference is the height of the fade and the type of the hair that I'm cutting. Towards the end, if you like my video, don't forget to click the like button. Comment any thoughts that you think, anything or any <laughs> advice that you guys can give me to improve my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. First of all, thanks so much for the people who keeps on supporting me, liking my videos, commenting, especially and sharing my videos every time. Thank you so much. <laughs> So we'll start by combing our client's hair first and also get familiar with the shape of his hair using my wall clippers with number four guard lever up close guard we're going to even out the sides of his hair it is a lot more organized this way so you can get a better picture of what you're working on i've seen a lot of barbers doing it differently it pretty much boils down on their technique cutting hair and most of the time it will give you the same results I'm just cutting it up until the parietal ridge of his head. That's how high I want the fade to be at. I'm starting the first guideline just right over at his temple. It will set where the fade is going to start. Using my bra and dry shaver, I'm going to flatten out his hair. It gives you an extra layer on your fade and prevents the hair from growing too fast. Next step with lever down, open guard, we're going to create an inch of a guideline. To make it easier for me, I'm just scooping it out to make sure I don't go too high. With number 2 attachment guide, lever down, open guard, we're doing the same thing in a scooping motion to create our next guideline. Also use a comb or a brush, take out the hairs that's already cut. For our last guideline, number 3 attachment guide, lever down, open guard, we're just scooping his hair below the parietal ridge. going to start blending in the guidelines lever up close guard in a flicking motion and I highly recommend to use a brush to take out the hair Using my gold FX, we're going to cut the first guideline even more. With number one attachment guide, lever up, close guard, we're going to take out the next guideline. From this point, we're going to keep the same settings to blend in the guideline. Make sure you're consistent on that flicking motion so you don't take too much hair.
lever down open guard we're going to blend in the next guideline in a flicking motion With my half attachment guide, lever up close guard, I'm going to blend the guideline even more. Make sure you're consistent on that flicking motion, at this will give you the best result. With my number one and half guard, lever up close guard, I'm going to blend in the second guideline. At this point onwards, I'm just cleaning up the fade, so go back and use the other attachment guides and listen to the crunchy sound that your clipper makes, as it will also tell you if you still need to cut it or not. Using my number 7 attachment guide, lever up close guard, I am going to the same direction of his hair to avoid cutting too much as much as possible. Using my gold FX, I'm going to line up this hairline. You want to keep it natural and avoid pushing it back as it will look uneven when the hair grows back. So my technique is, I just kind of tap the trimmer a little by little to achieve my desired look. Most of the time, I do start at the middle but in this case, I can already see his hairline so I started on the sides.
my elegant shaving gel, I'm putting it in areas where I'll be using my straight razor to smoothly glide it through the skin and avoid ouchiness. Maintain your blade within 30 to 45 degrees angle to avoid cutting the skin. That is it. Thanks so much for your time watching my video. If you're still here, don't forget to click the like button and click subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you have any questions, just comment down in the comment section. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We'll see you next time.